it's awesome. It's awesome. Aussie tuck is a pretty unique kind of uh, thing that even people within Australia don't use that much of. So it's really cool today to have this first item that we're featuring. This is actually called Golden Perch. And this has actually been caught by my mate Ed. So it's a beautiful fish. Uh, it's actually from the Murray-Darling Basin, so basically the border of uh, South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales. It's a native fish that lives up those Murray River streams up the lakes. It's beautiful. So my mate Ed, who quite potentially could be the best fisherman in the world, caught this beautiful golden perch and we're going to whip it up. Well guys, welcome to the Food to Eat Kitchen. Welcome to my house here in Bacchus Marsh. Uh, it's been about two years since I've cooked in this kitchen and you can see that you know we've had a little new little fella join the family since then so he's crying in the background it's it's a nice feel so we've got this beautiful gold perch we're cooking get that pot and then get a fry pan straight on here I want to turn the extractor on as well that's pretty important in this thing because uh, the smell of fish I don't really want in the house it's really the main focus is to get it on the skin to make him crispy Fish, skin side down. We, we want to get that really quite crispy as quick as we can. All right, here we go. The oil on there, get it all. Okay. Don't be tempted to move them right now. So here's the fish all ready to go. It's time to flip him. One flip of that to that nice crispness in there. And that's what we want to achieve. Beautiful smelling fish, actually. There we go, all right. So we don't want to cook the flesh, white side flesh. We actually want to bake that in the oven. Put him across there, one. Two. Now, we're gonna throw that in the- oh, fish. Yeah, that's fish. We're gonna throw that in the oven now for about five minutes, aren't we, Logan? Five minutes. Five minutes at what degrees? 180? Five minutes at 180 degrees, say it. Rock on. All right, oven goes open. Our lovely fish goes in. There you go, my little friend. See you in five. This is a nice baby kale. It's grown fresh here in Bacchus Marsh. It's classified as a superfood, isn't it, Logie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Zucchini. Zucchini? And we want to put ribbons, don't we, Logie? Yeah, like ribbons. Yeah, like ribbons. Are you a parrot? No. All right. Just like that, all that's going to really do, if you have it this thin, it doesn't really matter yeah. if it, uh, it affects the uh, flavour, it doesn't need to be cooked. And it's going to give a nice white colours to it, and it's quite a sweet little veggie when it's by itself like this. Yeah. So there we go. Carrot ribbons. In we go. In we go. A lemon. A lemon. We want to get some nice bits of lemon zest into that. There we go. Get it in top of there. Can I try it? No, mate. So that is basically the salad. I've uh, got a bowl now, we need to make a little dressing. Obviously, I've got some more of our lemon infused olive oil. Like that in there, like that. We've got one free range egg yolk. In she goes. That's going to actually act as our emulsifier. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a dash of red wine vinegar. Rule of thumb is generally about a third vinegar to uh, two thirds of olive oil. A sprinkle of some raw sugar. In she goes. And now we whip. That egg yolk is gonna pull it all together and it's gonna bind. It'll take a little bit. Oh, it's got a sort of a zing to it, it's got lemony. Oh, bang on. Oh, oh. That's awesome. Salad, you can see how beautiful salad. I want to pour a little bit in. Just enough. Just to toss the kale and the carrots, the lemon zest and the zucchini together. You can see you get that nice glazed salad in there. The really cool news is that the fish has just had its five minutes. We've just prepared our salad. Here we go. Alright, let's open her up and just check her out. Ooh, hello. Let's see that white flesh there. Let's pull her out. Let's pull her out. She looks beautiful. And you can see it's got quite a thick skin here, like most Aussie fish do. It's like kind of like the Murray Cod is quite similar. It's quite a, um, a fatty and, and um, dense fish. But you can see how beautiful that flesh is under there. 
it's lovely and white and feeling that that is just right it's time to plate up you remember from the picture that i did about this awesome blue plate it just so happens i have one right here let's get him down there i want to get a piece of that amazing yellow let's put him right in the middle there lovely a little bit of the salad let's put a bit of the zucchini and the carrots on the bottom just here on top put you on top there lovely and then we want to get a few of the kale sort of put the kale on top so it's all over there and you'll see the purple and the yellow in that and the orange react with it well with it that's really cool beautiful Tomatoes, these are grown up near Ballarat. Uh, they're beautiful on the vine tomatoes. I've roasted them in the oven, 100 degrees for about 15 minutes, so they're just soft to the touch. A little bit of oil on top, lemon oil again, just to link up with the other ingredients that are in that salad. Let's sit that on the side, just on the side of the fish maybe here. That's great. And we've got one more that I've pulled off and we'll put him on this side of the plate, just there. We'll get a little bit more lemon zest, just a little bit so we can put that around a bit. There we go. So I've already got some on the salad, but let's go all over. Put it around the edge of the plates. There we go. That's got a real nice bite and a zing to it. And here's my little secret thing. This is called Indian Makawas, and it's effectively a candied fennel seed. So let's throw that on top there. And it just gives, it's got a real, smell that, oh, smell it there. It's got a real pungent smell in it, but, but it's sweet and it's fennel -y. So there we go. I think that, is a wonderful showcase of everything that a golden perch can be. A beautiful golden perch, kale salad, roasted tomatoes, makawas, and um, a lemon emulsion.